similar to our water wells. And the state is failing to do anything. Now don't forget, fairy tales have happy endings, except for the bad guys. They often end up in the wolf's belly. The water's on fire! We don't need no gas, let the corporations burn! assessment. I have spent four years assessing horizontal, unconventional drilling of black shale. There is no way this is safe. As a matter of fact, at the turn of the 20th century, Henry Clay Frick thought that this was so dangerous it shouldn't be employed. Can you believe that? Henry Clay Frick thought something was too dangerous? Now if he thought it was too dangerous, what is Halliburton thinking? And we've been promoting ourselves around the world of how we've made this transition and how industrial-based cities can change to a new economy and a green economy and how we can promote the environment in harmony with helping people and making profit. And now all of a sudden we're going the opposite way. We're going back to 1850. You cannot be exempt from clean air, clean water, safe drinking water, the right to know the Superfund Act and be a benign process. No one knew that when we signed leases. We signed them in 02, everything got passed in 05. They were preparing themselves. I'm out there, I see the people that are crying out loud. I see the kids that are having rashes, the kids that are having diarrhea, the kids that are throwing up. I've seen the cattle that have died. I've seen all this. It's heartbreaking. And they want to deny it. And if they, if they are such great neighbors as they say that they are, why do they not welcome the universities with open arms to let them do the scientific research? We always hear that Pittsburgh's number one. Over and over again, we hear people chanting, we're number one because of a football team. Or some other team. But I'll tell you what, we're going to be number one when we stand drilling in this city. We're number one. I do not only need you today, my friends, I need you every day. I need you to put aside the Krispy Kremes and the Dancing with the Stars, and I need you to write some letters. I need you to type, write, tweet, put signs on your neighbor's door, get together in the basement, get together in the backyard, get together at the tailgate party and say, this is our land, and you can't have it. Oh, you're a turncoat and you're a thief, cold-blooded killers, how do you sleep? I'm talking D-O-M-E-S-T-I-C, terror. towers made of steel and concrete they scheme out the next ripoff like bankers on wall street and the voices echo coldly and the rain takes on a chill as they raise the gases up and seal the deal that they know kills cause you're a turnco and you're a thief cold-blooded killers how do you sleep D-O-M-E-S-T-I-C Terra! So, this is the official uh, Carl Rove Welcoming Committee. Not welcoming committee. Um, so, I do want to let you know, David is right, I've been crisscrossing the country, and I, I was recently, I did a swing of showings of the film, and uh, actually filming for Gasland 2, and that's right, we'll let you be in Gasland 2 in a second, um, in Texas. 
with Mayor Calvin Tillman, the mayor of Ditch. You may know Ditch, Texas, because they have 10 billion cubic feet going through Ditch, Texas every day with 10 pipelines that crisscross the state. And they have benzene in the air at 55 times the public health standard. And they have toxic emissions that float into people's homes, give them nosebleeds in the middle of the night, give them brain damage, and Calvin Tillman's two sons are waking up in the middle of the night with nosebleeds. I went to Flower Mound, Texas, where in one small area there's a school which is surrounded by gas wells. They have 12 cases of childhood leukemia, four mothers with breast cancer, and two brain tumors in the last three years. I went and visited a woman named Lisa Parr who has 21 gas wells surrounding her property and this is a dream home. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. She has chemicals associated with fracking in her lungs. In her lungs. And this is an urban area. This is Fort Worth, Texas. They have 10,000 gas wells. 10,000 gas wells is equal to all of the pollution of all of the cars and trucks in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. That's the fourth largest city in America. Do you want Pittsburgh to become that city? Do you, do you want to live amongst those kinds of toxic emissions? Now, I also went down to Austin to the State House and I interviewed State Representative Lon Burnham who's campaigning uh, for a number of improvements in Fort Worth. They're trying to play catch up. He said to me, the State House is owned by oil and gas. I said, well, what do you tell these people who have nosebleeds, who are getting leukemia, who have fracking chemicals in their lungs? He looked straight at the camera and he said, move. Do you want to leave Pittsburgh? Do you want to have to move from a city that has clean air? No fracking way. Who said that? You can hear it in my voice. No fracking way. You don't want to move. Because those, that's the option in front of you now. We can support this band, which by the way would be the first band in the city, in, 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 in the United States. You could, you, could, you could beat New York. Because this is going to be very, very difficult. You need to keep coming back, because the gas industry will keep coming back. You need to get ready to do this quite a bit. You need to also probably get ready to do civil disobedience. Civil disobedience was one of those things listed in those Pennsylvania Homeland Security bulletins. As, uh, and civil disobedience is the opposite of terrorism. Civil disobedience is peaceful, it is organized, it is civil, it is non-violent, and it is, act, it is the only reason why we have any of the progress that we have over the last hundred years, two hundred years, whatever it is. I think the list was said earlier, but I think it's worth saying again. Women would not have the vote. Children would still be working in factories. Uh, black people would not be able to drink at the same water fountains, go to the same schools as white people. I mean, obviously, the only tool that we have at our disposal against the people in that building, when it really comes down to it, is people in the streets and civil disobedience. There is a media campaign to discredit the film Gasland. There is a media campaign to discredit the Hallowitz family. There is a media campaign to discredit everyone who knows the truth about what is happening. We're in a war with reality itself. We're going to leave us a message for the next governor. I have his phone number. You want to leave him a message? Hi, how are you? Uh, this is Josh Fox, and I'm with Citizens from the City of Pittsburgh. We'd like to leave a message for Tom Corbett. We'd like to say we are going to ban hydraulic fracturing in the city of Pittsburgh, and we are going to ban it in Pennsylvania.